Now the first step, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game, but if you're able to launch the game, you can try this. Take off all abilities of any player you have. Take off all X factor of players and make sure that you don't have any duplicate players in the spatial teams. So uh, in my case, we are already there is no X factor or abilities. So if you have X factor and abilities, you can take it off and then you can check. Now the next step is to use a different playbook. Uh, this has also worked for many uh, players, so it, it might work for you. So you can go to playbooks and visual and you can try a different playbook and then you can check. Now the next step is to install visual C++ file. Now for this copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see visual studio file to download this x86 and x64 version and run this x86 file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. If you, see, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And let the installation complete. Make sure both, both the files are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to rename or delete system, uh, file system cache and user settings. When you do so, you will lo lose all the saved settings. So for this, you can open file explorer, go to documents. Here you can see Madden NFL 26, open this folder. Here you can see user settings and file system cache. Make a right click and you can delete it. Once you, it is deleted, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to repair EA anti cheat to repair EA anti cheat go to the game installation folder uh, click on the game and then click on prop view properties and then click on open folder this will take you to the game installation folder if you have the game on steam i don't have the game on steam i have the game on uh, ea app so i've just added it from the ea app so make a right click on the game and then click on browse local files and then once it will it will take you to the game installation folder now open the installer folder Open EA anti cheat folder. Here you can see EA anti cheat installer. Make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. You will see the repair option, click on repair, and you have to select the game folder. So click on OK, and then wherever the game is installed, in my case, the game is installed in, over here. If the game is installed in C drive on Steam, then go to C drive program files x86, then Steam, Steam apps, common, then open the game folder, and then you have to select this uh, the game folder you have to select Madden NFL 26 and then click on select folder and let the repair complete this process will take some time and once install is success now you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can uninstall all and then once the uninstall is success this will uninstall EA anti cheat for all EA games but when you launch the when you launch the game after you uninstall it now you can launch the game and when you launch the game uh, during the launch here you can see it's installing ea anti cheat it will install the ea anti cheat and then you can check still not working uh, if if you don't have ea anti cheat uh, installer in that case you can even uh, go to ea website the link is provided in the video description you can open this link in a browser this is the official ea website now you can click on ea javelin anti cheat installer and then you can once the download is complete you can run this exe file and repeat the same process click on yes to allow and do the same thing click on repair select the game folder once the repair is done launch the game if that does not work uninstall it and after the uninstall launch the game and it will install EA anti cheat here you can see it's installing and then you can check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so if you have the game on steam make a right click in the game select properties and in the launch option over here type in dash dx11 and now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step 
now the next step is to now for e app users uh, you can go to e app click on manage and then click on view properties and in the launch option advanced launch option you can type in dash dx11 now save it close it and launch the game and then check in my case the game is running right now so let me close the game launch the game once again and then check still not working then again go to view properties and this time you can type in dash dx12 you can save it launch the game and then check still not working remove the launch option save it follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and on the next page uh, you will see the latest graphic card driver at the very top that is geforce game ready driver whichever is the latest uh, you can click on view and then you can download that file download this and once the download is complete run this exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then you will see this screen click on agree and continue over here select custom option click on next then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game still not working uh, the next step is to run the game amd card users go to the amd website do the same thing install the latest one and then restart your computer uh, next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so if you have the game on steam uh, this is the location you can open the game folder i have the game on e, uh, from e app so program files ea games open the game folder select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here you will see the game click on the game and over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game and then check desktop users make sure that you connect the display cable or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot so if your computer has a dual graphic card uh, in my case it's intel and nvidia so do not connect the cable to this connect the cable to the dedicated graphic card slot and then launch the game also if that does not work you can even roll back graphics card driver suppose the latest graphic card driver is not working in that case uh, you can do one thing uh, you can just uh, you can click on view more version when you, once you select your graphic card you can try maybe 577 or maybe 570 uh, 6.80 so you can try to roll back the graphic card driver but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this again make our active on the game select manage browse local files and then over here you will see the game exe file make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working then this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can even uh, use this ea anti cheat game service launcher to launch the game make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then you can check now when you put a check on all these boxes uh, still not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok now follow the next step now uh, the next step is to if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, click on virus and threat protection, scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow. Click on add and allow app browser apps and then go to the game installation folder if you have the game on steam you will see it over here and then you have to open the game folder 
select the game exe file you have to select all the exe file this e anti cheat service game launcher also add in a lot of browser apps select this one and then again select the last exe file again add in a lot of browser apps and then open open this installer e anti cheat select this exe file click on open now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to repair or verify the game file if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab i don't have the game on steam so i'll show you a different game this is just an example make a right click go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check if you have the game on eapp click on manage over here click on repair and once the repair is complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel over here and then go to hardware and sound go to power options now in my case i have only one balance option in your case you might see this power saver select power saver launch the game and then check you can even go for balance or high performance check which one is working for fine for you first of all try power saver and then you can launch the game still not working uh, the next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this type in view advanced system settings in windows search box click on it and then go to uh, under advanced click on the first settings advanced over here click on change over here and then uncheck this box select your drive where the game is installed then select custom size over here for initial size um you can try this uh, if that is not work you can always revert back the changes for this uh, in initial size is 1.5 into total ram in you can open windows settings and check how much ram you have you can go to system you can go to above and in my case it's 16 gigabyte so you can I have to convert this 16 as per me you have to calculate as per your ram so for me it's 16 gigabyte so i have to convert 16 gig gigabyte to megabyte so 16 multiplied 1024 that is megabyte in megabyte total ram multiplied 1.5 is initial size that is 24576 24576 and then for initial uh, for maximum size is total ram multiplied 3 total ram is 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is megabyte multiplied 3 that is 49152 as per my ram 49152 and then you have to click on set okay apply okay now you can launch the game and then check you can restart your computer and then launch the game if that does not work again type in view advanced system settings and this time click on first settings advanced tab change this time select system manage size and then click on set click on okay click on okay and then uh, apply okay okay restart your computer after the system restart launch the game if that does not work revert to default default is settings advance change put a check over here the way it was before now you can restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game if that does not work then update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios and then you can check next step is to install these uh, install direct x file now for this you can go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description over here you will see direct x file click on download and then run this exe file click on yes to allow okay now click on accept next uncheck this install bing bar next and let it complete once the download once once it is complete you will see finish option after finish restart your computer and then launch the game still not working the next step is to now this is important so if you have daemon tools running 
you can make a record in the start menu and then go to task manager if you have any service named as daemon tools running over here here in my case you can see so if you have two three services just click on end task and then make a record on the start menu go to device manager and then once device manager is open expand this storage controller you will find daemon tools make a right click and then you have to disable it in my case i have already disabled universal serial bus control if you have this tool make a right click and disable if you have two three daemon tools just disable it from the device manager if you have you can even uninstall daemon tools if you can later on you can install it if you need it close rewsd ds4 windows if you have these application running like ds4 windows running uh, I don't have it running, but if you have it running, close it. If you have this joy to key application running, because these are giving you auto hotkey errors. So if you have this running, make a right click. Uh, you, you have to close it from the task manager. Sometimes it's hidden over here. Uh, you have to make a right click and then click on exit. This is just an example. If you have auto hotkey, close it. Game companion running. If you have this application running. Uh, game companion uh, you will see it somewhere over here you have to exit from here you can e even exit from task uh, manager rain meter drop top jack score wipe port wipes vr software razor corsair icu if you have these application running close if face it anti cheat riot vanguard logitech ghub menu.exe 3x 3xs software support app so th these are not like uh, troubleshooting is not limited to these application if you have any third party application or services running in task manager which you find suspicious you can just close all the third party application and services from the task manager if you find it in device manager disable it you can even uninstall it you will all uh, for some users and uh, they they found this xvdd scsi mini port in device manager if you find it disable it uh, daemon tools we have already done corsair bus in device manager if you find it disable it you can even uninstall these applications. Close all third-party applications, VLC, Codec, Wallpaper Engine, MSI apps. Also end services from the task manager. Disable or uninstall. If you have this separate application running, many um, uh, many players are using this application. You can Crypto Pro. This is also important. If you have this running, close it. Punk Buster uh, services running. You can disable it from the task manager. If you have any folder. Uh, in uh, for punk buster in program files or program file 686 you can delete it close or uninstall this uh, good by dpi app so just close all the third party application and then launch the game disable steam overlay now if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties over here you will find uh, find enable uh, i'll show you a different game so over here you will find enable the steam overlay while in game you can turn this off in my case that is already off and if you have uh, any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running uh, on your computer you can go to nvidia app and then you can go to settings and if the nvidia app overlay is on you can turn this off do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner revert unit close it unplug all the external devices which you are not using if you are not using hotas wheel pedals uh, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. If you have like multiple monitor setup, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running in task manager, close it. If you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to install the game to SSD. Uh, you can uninstall if that does not work. You can uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So uh, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, you can go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the issue. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.